Yo, it's me, Chris, and as you guys can see today, I am wearing the black tank top. Bing, bing, wahoo! It's nice, it's comfy, and it's great. I'm with this guy. <sighs> hey, it's me, Curtis, a.k.a. King Spears, a.k.a. Woo! Built! Uh, I'm different! A.k.a. Chubby Rain himself in the flesh. I'm the guy your mom's always talking about. Hi, Mom. Today, we're going to be doing something that's considered the hardest task on this planet, which is... Watch a movie! Whoa, what movie are we watching? Ooh, we're cooking up something real <laughs> nice today. Whoa. <laughs> mm. We're going to be watching The mm. Breakfast Club. Ooh. Breakfast finna got me acting up, if you know what I mean. Hey. <laughs> Breakfast is without a doubt my favorite meal of the day. And if you're one of those freakazoid monstrosities that do not, and I repeat, do not eat breakfast, find some help. Talk to somebody. I don't know, but there's obviously something wrong with you. Some of the worst people on this planet. Anybody who doesn't eat breakfast, you are the worst. Absolute losers. And there's a lot of bad people out on this planet. But you're at the bottom of it all. Ooh. Disgusting. But you know who's not at the bottom of that list? Who? The people on the Patreon. They always eat their breakfast. If you don't, you better now. <laughs> eat your breakfast and you're a great person. The people on the Patreon are these great people. Wow, it's, in it's incredible. All right? It's wonderful. And then we have those who are subbing to the Octocool channel. These people are also incredible people. They also eat their breakfast. Great individuals. They're starting the day properly. All right? They got their life together because they're subbed to the channel. And then we have those of you who are not subbed to the channel. You don't have your life together. You probably skipped breakfast this morning. You're probably... <laughs> my bad. Probably you are a loser. <laughs> Sheesh! Woo! We got him, chief! Losers out there. But there's no need to be a loser and there's no need to skip your breakfast. By just subbing to the Octocool channel right now, you too can eat breakfast and no longer be a loser. Good job. I hope you subbed. Good job. Good job. Woohoo, good job. Nice one. That's a good job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on that note, breakfast is good. Eat it and we're going to get right into the video. Ah! <laughs> Somebody better be eating some breakfast. Whoa, damn, that was a loud start. Wait, god damn. Okay. But like I was saying, someone better be eating breakfast in this movie. Oh! Is this like the breakfast theme song, man? You sit down with a bowl of Cheerios and you just start listening to this? What? And these children that you spit on as they try to change their worlds are immune to your consultations. They're quite aware of what they're going through. David, whoa, God! What the f was that even necessary? We accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in detention for whatever- it was. I'm eating my head? Interesting thing I have for breakfast, but all right. <laughs> well, get in there and use the time to your advantage. Well, mister, you figure out a way to study. Whoa, yo, mom, back off. That little, yeah, bang! <laughs> yeah, this! Hey, I screwed around. Guys screw around, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I believe you. Except you got caught, sport. <laughs> now, no school is gonna give a scholarship to a discipline case. Hey, man, we all make mistakes. Yeah, dude, shit happens, bro. Calm down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he doesn't care? No, he doesn't. God, he's cool. Oh. <laughs> Yo! Okay, <laughs> I think that was a lot sadder. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so mean. They literally said nothing. Just said, no, bye. We, we don't even want to hear it. <laughs> Just touch everything. <laughs> yeah. It really? Oh, okay. Wow, she really went all the way around there. Probably doesn't like people. Well, well. Here we are. Excuse me, sir. I think there's been a mistake. I don't think I belong in here. Huh? You have exactly eight hours and 54 minutes Just to think about her. why you're here. <laughs> Ponder the error of your ways. You may not talk. Is that possible? 
I'm quite impressed, actually. Will not mm. move from these seats. All right, people, we're going to try something a little different today. Oh. We are going to write an essay. Oh. Oh, lovely. An no essay. No less than a thousand words. Oh, that's not bad. Describing to me who you think you are. Is it that? Maybe you'll decide whether or not you care to return. Yeah, you know, I can answer that right now, sir. You know, that'd be no, no for me. Because sit down, Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Does Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? I'll give you the answer to that question, Mr. Bender, next Saturday. Don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. Oh, okay. Barry Manilow. <laughs> I guess that's breakfast. Oh. Um, bon appetit. Enjoy your nails. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> that's creepy, man. For like nine hours doing this? Wait, nine hours? Really? Yeah, that's what he said. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you look like an Bro. idiot. You must be really bored. Uh-oh. Why do you have to make it so awkward? Yeah. Oh, he's cold now. Okay. <laughs> Dude, he's like... <laughs> it's the shits, huh? <laughs> what are we supposed to do if we have to take a piss? You're not urinating in here, man. Don't talk. Don't talk. It makes it crawl back up. <laughs> 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 before the first drop hits the floor. You're pretty sexy when you get angry. Uh. <laughs> he knows how to piss people off. Yep. Come on, Bender, don't screw around. What are you gonna do? Drop dead, I hope. <laughs> wow! <laughs> God damn, it, dude. So mean. Why is that door closed? How are we supposed to know? We're not supposed to move, right? Damn. Who closed that door? Who? What? <laughs> what the f talk, sir. Wait, is she okay? Give me that screw. I don't have it. Screws fall out all the time. The world's an imperfect place. Give it to me, Bender. Oh, God. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Why would anybody want to steal a screw? Watch it. Oh, the chair. I don't the think this is going to work. way too heavy, sir. Yeah, it's not going to work. Let's see. No. Oh, 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 oh my god. Dude, it just threw the chair away. <laughs> out of my hands. <laughs> That's very clever, sir. That is such a dumb what idea. What if there's a fire? I expected a little more from a varsity. What? Dude. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. The quick middle finger flash, my man. Hell yeah, man. Eat my shorts. You just bought yourself another Saturday. How many is that? That's seven, including the one when we first came in. You asked Mr. Vernon here whether Barry Mandel knew that he raided his closet. Now it's eight. <laughs> you stay out of it. Excuse me, sir. It's seven. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude, he's You're funny. Vendor. For two months, I got you. What's that? I think it says bullhorns. Those are his horns. The next time I have to come in here, I'm cracking skulls. Wow. With his horns? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. This is really not menacing. No, it's not. It looks stupid as hell. <laughs> oh. You get a little bit more freedom now. Oh! Alright, sure. Man, okay. <laughs> oh, dude, this looks miserable. Oh, God! Oh, I, oh. All right, okay, interesting. We ripping apart here. Is that a book? Yeah, that's a book. Interesting. That's real intelligent. You're right. You like your old man better than your mom? They're both screwed. No, I mean, if you had to choose between them. 
Damn, that's a hard question to ask. I don't know. Probably go live with my brother. A third option. Nice. I mean, I don't think either one of them gives a shit about me. It's like they use me just to get back at each other. Ha! What the fuck was that? What, what, what was that for? You oh. Something, man. If we weren't in school right now. I'd waste you. you feel us to me. I, I don't. I don't like my parents either. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't get along with them. I mean, their, their idea of you know parental compassion is just you know. Look, I could see you getting all bunged up for them making you wear these kind of clothes. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, You're shit. a neo maxi zoom dweeby. Why do you have to insult everybody? I'm being honest, asshole. Yeah, well, he's got a name. Yeah? Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> see? My condolences. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor <laughs> kid. Oh, man. <laughs> made fun of his name, made fun of his drip. Are you a virgin? What's with his questions being so personal and weird? I said leave her alone. Uh-oh. You gonna make me? Yeah. Two hits. Me hitting you, you hitting the floor. Anytime you're ready, pal. Whoa! <laughs> oh, wow. I don't want to get into this with you, man. <laughs> Why not? Damn. Because I'd kill you. Okay. I'd kill you, and your fucking parents would sue me, and it'd be a big mess, and I don't care enough about you to bother. Yeah, yeah, big man. There is nothing weaker than acting tough. My guy's got the tunes. All right, we're jamming. Not the hairline, but the tunes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. By the way, that clock's 20 minutes fast. <laughs> hey, okay. Damn, dude. He right away knew exactly where it was going. What the fuck? What is this? What is that contraption? Happy foods? Yes. What the? Is this sushi? Yeah, it's sushi. Nice. Wow, but why do you have this whole setup with you? What's that? Sushi? <laughs> you won't accept a guy's tongue in your mouth and you're gonna eat that? Can I eat? Give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, okay, let's go, man. Yo, a whole oh, carton of milk! A whole carton? Ah, of course, uh, for potassium. Nice. Ah, oh, the healthy option. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh, <no>. Ew. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah, ah. <laughs> what? What are? Th yeah, this is interesting. What is happening here? What the fuck? Sugar bread? Wait, is that sugar? What the fuck are you making there? She looks more like a chemist. What the hell's going on over there? Oh. Cereal sugar bread? That's Captain Crunch. I know what it looks like. All the food groups are represented. Did your mom marry Mr. Rogers? No, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> What about your family? Oh, mine? Yeah. It's real easy. Stupid, worthless, no good, goddamn freeloading son of a bitch. You forgot ugly, lazy, and disrespectful. Shut up, bitch! Who fucks me turkey pot pie? Fuck you! Is that for real? You want to come over sometime? <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't think that I need to sit with you fucking dildos anymore. <laughs> Interesting. 
But it makes a lot of sense if, because of his personality. Hey, oh, he's going King Kong on this shit, man. What? Yeah, man. Understand. Well, he shared a bit too much, and now he's like, uh oh. What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh no! Dude, that's the worst, man. You just ruined your whole lunch. Yeah, and he, dude, he was really enjoying it too, man. He was starting off with that orange a little too nice. Yeah, he was really too into that orange. Being bad feels pretty good. Huh? This is so stupid. Why do you think? Why are we risking getting caught? So then what are we doing? You ask me one more question and I'm beating the shit out of you. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> Slob. My maid's on vacation. Yeah, that's not a sandwich. Boy has marijuana. That was marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> huh? We'll cross through the left. Bizarre. Why she just take his walk? I don't know. <laughs> hey, man, he's got a pep in his step. Okay. <laughs> he's feeling himself, man. What? For a guy who lost his lunch, he's pretty happy. We're dead. Just me. What do you mean? Get back to the library. Keep You're doing it on. <laughs> shoved it down his pants. That's so a bitch. <laughs> Out. That's it, Bender. Out. It's over. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You forgot a shoe, bro. Yeah, you, this, your shoe. The, the shoe. What about the shoe? You want to see something funny? You go visit John Bender in five years. You'll see how goddamn funny he is. Goddamn, bro. Oh, jeez. What's the matter, John? You gonna cry? <gasps> oh God! Oh shit! Let's go. Hey, keep your fucking hands off me! Oh my god. Oh fuck, bro. Dude, he likes just making things worse. Yep. And I'm gonna kick the living shit out of you, man. I'm gonna knock your dick in the dirt. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, what? Times? You threatening me? Oh. All right, that's one way to escape. Are these like ceiling tally things this Strong? Oh, shit! Jesus Christ Almighty! Forgot my pencil. <laughs> Yo, Wastoid. You're not gonna blaze up in here. Too late. He's gone. Yep. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, there goes the lungs. See ya, lungs. <laughs> Shit. Yo, my man went the extra mile! The hot box? Alright, he's feeling it. Okay. Oh, wow. Whoa! Okay, he's really feeling this! <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the <laughs> hell? Whoa! <laughs> okay, everything's going off. Alright. Alright! Yo, <laughs> he's he, really feeling it though. Did he take the same stuff? I don't think so, man. He took something yeah! better, I guess. <laughs> My God! <laughs> you sure he didn't snort oh, anything? <laughs> he's back in. 
Time to recharge. <laughs> what the hell? A history of slight mental illness. No wonder he's so fucked up. Good afternoon, Dick. <laughs> wow. Hey, Carl. How you doing? Good. Good. What's up? Confidential files. Oh, well, look, Carl, this is a highly sensitive area, and I, I tell you something, 50 bucks. Yo, my man, Carl. You want to see what's in my bag? Uh, not, not really. No. I'm, I'm a little scared to see what's in your bag, honestly. Oh, what the? What the? She just unloaded the whole thing. What is that in there? You never know when you may have to jam. To jam? Are you gonna be like a shopping bag lady? Sit in alleyways and like talk to buildings and wear men's shoes and that kind of thing? That was yeah. very specific. <laughs> My home life is unsatisfying. Oh, okay. Well, everyone's home life is unsatisfying. And if it wasn't, people would live with their parents forever. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Mm. I think. Never mind, forget it. Everything's cool. Either you really want to run away. Or you want people to think you want to run away. Eat shit. Damn. Oh. That's very friendly. You have problems. But I didn't dump my purse out on the couch and invite people into my problems. What did they do to you? They ignore me. Yeah, that made sense. When you get old, these kids... When I get old, they're going to be running the country. Now, this is the thought that wakes me up in the middle of the night. That when I get older, these kids are going to take care of me. I wouldn't count on it. Yep. Ooh. Damn, that was a, that, that was a good line. God damn. Mm -hmm. I'll do anything sexual. I don't need a million dollars to do it either. <laughs> what? Wow. I already have. <laughs> I've done just about everything there is except a few things. Your parents are aware of this? I don't think they the care. The only person I told was my shrink. What did he do when you told him? He nailed me. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. He's married, too. Oh. Whoa. Uh. Hey, yo. Have you ever done it? Uh-oh. I don't even have a psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> Answer the question. Don't be a jersey. It's only one question. No! I never did it! There you go. I never did it either. <laughs> yeah, not surprised by that one. I'm not a nymphomaniac. I'm a compulsive liar. <laughs> you are such a bitch. <laughs> we were all pretty bizarre. It's better at hiding it, that's all. Mm. Oh, you bizarre. He can't think for himself. She's right. Ah, you guys humility. Know what, uh, what I did to get in here? I taped Larry Lester's buns together. <laughs> that was you? Yeah, you know. Most of his hair came off and some, some skin too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh, Larry, no. The bizarre thing is. I, I jumped on top of him and, and started wailing on him. Whoa! You beat the crap out of Larry, too? They, they just laughed and cheered me on. Oh, God. All I could think about was Larry's father and Larry having to go home and and explain what happened to him. Yep. Yeah, man, that's yeah. Uh, that's rough as hell. Yeah. I mean, how do, you, how do you apologize for something like that? Yeah, that's pretty rough, man. You can't really apologize. No. He'll never accept it. Yeah, don't expect anything out of it. I fucking hate him. Andrew, you've got to be number one. I won't tolerate any losers in this family. Oh, Your intensity nah. is for shit. I see. Win, win, win. I think your old man and my old man should get together and go bowling. You know what I got for Christmas this year? It was a banner fucking year at the old Bender family. I got a carton of cigarettes. The old man grabbed me and said, hey, smoke up, Johnny. Okay, so go home and cry to your daddy. Don't cry here, okay? God, he's so jealous. Oh, yeah. It's like the self-pity, woe is me act exactly constantly. That. Just because your life is shit doesn't mean you have to make everyone else's shit. Honestly. 
I know it's kind of a weird time, but I was just wondering what is going to happen to us on Monday. I mean, I consider you guys my friend. Oh, damn. Oh, what a nice hey, guy. If Brian came walking up to you in the hall on Monday, what would you do? Tape his buns. You know exactly what you do. <laughs> so Say dude, hi to no. him, and when he left, you cut them all up so your friends wouldn't think that you really liked him. No way. What if I came up to you? I'm exact then. You are a bitch! <laughs> Gosh, jeez. Just bury your head in the sand and wait for your fucking prom. I hate you. Yeah? Good. Uh, <laughs> well, this took a real while. Uh, wow. I assume Alice and I are better people than you guys, huh? Us weirdos. You're not friends with the same kind of people that Annie and I are friends with. You know, you just don't understand the pressure that they can put on you. You think I don't understand pressure, Claire? Well, fuck you! Whoa! Well, fuck you! God damn! Yeah, let's go, man! Mr. Ryan found a gun in the locker. What? A gun? Why'd you have a gun in your locker? <gasps> I can't have an F. I can't have it. I don't know my parents can have it. Even if I ace the rest of the semester, I'm still only a B. Everything's wrong. It was a handgun? It was a flare gun. Flare gun. Locker. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. kind of funny, actually. It's not funny. A flare gun's kind of funny. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Kind of funny. <laughs> that, that was. I'm the sure. I just picture shooting himself with a flare gun. It's like I don't think it would. I think it would just hurt really badly. Yeah. <laughs> flare your face. <laughs> oh man. You want to know what I did to get in here? Nothing. What? Huh? I didn't have anything better to do. All right. Fair enough. Wow. That's You're actually. At me. That actually might be the saddest one, actually. Yeah. There. Doesn't matter, man. He's jamming. Oh, damn. He's feeling it now. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's like she's dying. Oh, she did huh? die. Oh, wait. Where's he going now? What? He's sneaking back in. Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, dude. Oh, he has to get back into the uh, faculty room. Yeah, he has to. Well, it's kind of a waste for all of us to write our paper, don't you think? Oh, well, that's what Vernon wants us to do. You just don't want to write your paper, right? True, but <laughs> you're the smartest, right? Well. <laughs> <laughs> we trust you. Yeah. <sighs> Please. Why are you being so nice to me? Because you're letting me. Hmm. What the fuck? Holy shit, what the? Oh my god. Well, that's actually a huge difference, wow. It's like not even the same person, jeez. Pretty much, yeah, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo! Hey, yo! Hey! Woo! <laughs> Hey man, he gets the piece of paper and lucky him. Let's go, man. <laughs> he's, just, he's, so, he's so proud of himself. He's like, fuck yeah. See you, Brian. Yeah. Well, see you next Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> man, Carl's the man. Carl's a real one, man. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 okay, whoa, 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 okay. Let's go. Yeah, all right. Hey, yo, we back at it again. Hey, yo. We think you're crazy to make us write an essay telling you who we think we are. And you see us as you want to see us. So 
sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. Don't, don't, don't. We just finished watching uh, Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club. There was no eggs, sausages, or bacon. Hash browns, this. pancakes, waffles, French toast. There was no breakfast items in this movie. There was but no there breakfast. was a lot of heart. They had a lot of that. It was actually a really good movie. I liked it a lot. Yeah, you know, I kind of appreciate when films do that where the set is very, like, limited. In, very like, minuscule. It's, like, almost in one place. It's predominantly takes place in one place. And there's very few characters. Yeah. I actually thought that was really interesting how it actually was engaging and, like, kept your attention the whole time. Because the characters were good, that's why. Yeah, I was actually really impressed by that. Like, damn. Like, oof. I don't know. I, I expect it would have been a lot bigger, but no, they kept it small the whole time. And no, I feel like a lot of these old movies do that. You know, they, they always have a very, like, it seems very low budget in a sense. Yeah. Not in a bad way, you know, but it's like it's a very low budget film, but... They make it work. Yeah, they, they make it very good. Like, I thought I thought this movie was actually very funny. I think the I really like uh, the nerd Brian. Yeah, I thought he was super fucking funny, dude. Some of the things he would just say for nothing, like yeah, or something he would just go on a tangent. It's like, bro, nobody asked. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you I talking like, about? I'm in the math club. Like, what? Yeah, I make spaghetti. Yeah, it's like. Who asked you? Sometimes he's just like answering questions. Even when the the teacher would say something, he would answer the questions like, "Bro, nobody fucking cares. Shut up." I don't know, I thought he was a really funny character. I did too. I, I I liked how the movie was just basically an idea that like you know, nobody truly understands what's going on in another person's life. Yeah. And like even the very like question that the teacher gave for them, Vernon, there, he, he essentially you know like. Tell him who you are, who you think you are, who whatever. You, yeah, something like it's that. It's like, at that age, you truly don't actually know. I don't think you ever figure that out, actually. I think that's just a, a something that you you kind of think about for the rest of your entire life. You kind of, yeah. dead. That's you know? like, you kind of like, you gotta build upon it as because you Because I feel through. like as a human being, you're, you're changing. Every year, you're someone different. You're never the same as you were before, because, you know... It's all the experiences that you yeah, uh, get to get those yeah, years. You're, lear you're, you're, you're learning new things. You're experiencing new things. You're not the same person. Hell, you're not even the same person you were, like, the day before. You know, if you did something new today, you're kind of a different person. Because I feel like it kind of, like, opens you as a person or as an individual. The more new things you try, the more new things you do, the more different you become. You know, as long as you're doing new things, you're always going to be changing. You're always going to be doing something else, especially when you're that young. There's a ton yeah. of new things you're going to be experiencing and doing. It's honestly, like, it's just an asshole question to essentially put there. Pretty much, you yeah. Know? And like it, they said in the letter there, well, that Ryan wrote, it's like, you already have your biased opinion of who we are. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter what we say. You're still going to think the same way. And I think it was cool that like, Carl said to Vernon, oh, you know. that line was so good from Carl. Good. It's not them that who's changed. It's you who's changed. No, not that at only. He's like, oh, you know, these are the kids that are going to, like, like, you know. Yeah, take care of me. They're going like, to take care of me in the future. And he's like, I wouldn't bet on it. Yeah. I was like, damn. Like, Bro, you're treating them like an asshole, especially. Oh my God, we took him to the faculty room and started, like, acting all tough and stuff. To be fair, to an extent, he brings that upon himself of how he you treats other what? people. You know what? Actually... Yeah, like uh, sometimes the way he, how rude he is to people, it's just like you push people to that extent to have that kind it's, of yeah. It's kind of like you're you're making them this angry. You're you're you know you're pretty much bringing the heat out of them. But the thing is, as soon as he gets the heat on him, he can't handle it. No, you saw he how just, he instantly froze up. Yeah, you know, it's just a, you know sometimes you gotta know you you can't push someone too far because not everyone's just that was the that was the uh, the proof right there. Vernon's absolute proof. Not everyone's going to take your bullshit calmly. It just takes one person. One person's not going to listen to it, and they're going to retaliate. And after that, your whole spiel, your whole act is fucked. All right? Because they know you're not tough. Yeah. And that's now, the thing. That was the, the thing, especially when he's like, uh, when I think it's Andy, the, the, the athlete kid. He's yeah. like, he put him down on the ground. Fast, oh, easy. Super fast. And then right was like, oh, I, I would kill you. It's, it's just like, Jesus Christ. You're like, yeah. that's so cringy. Yeah, like, it, was, it was very edgy, cringy kind of thing. But that's how like, he always was, you know. He was always pushing people's buttons and stuff, and it was mainly he, because he was, yeah, he's pushing people's buttons. and He's also trying to push them away at the same time. Yeah, you know, so he wants people to hate him. Mm -hmm. You know, because he feels like all the words that his dad told him is like he's useless, he's a sack of shit, and all that. Yeah, he truly believes it, and that's why he tries to be it essentially because mm -hmm. he's heard it all his life. So it's just like I guess that's what I am. I guess that's who I have to become, mm -hmm. kind of thing, right? Yeah, it's like a defense mechanism in a sense. Yeah, I also felt really bad for Andy, you know. He just bullied a kid because of his father, essentially. It yeah, very, it oh, very... God. And, like, and just the way he talked about his remorse from him and, and the understandings, it's like, 
I will never be forgiven for this. And it's not even just uh, to be forgiven from Larry himself, but he will never forgive himself either. Yeah. Because he he totally understood what he did was so wrong. Yeah, you know, as soon as he put himself in Larry's shoes, you know, he started to think of the humiliation. Like, what what if he has, you know, he has to talk to his father about that? I thought, you know, what he did was shitty, right? Absolutely shitty, you know? It's not a good thing to do, but still, you kind of feel bad for him that he feels like he had to do these things just to have some form of approval from his father. Well, and, you, you know, know it was like the it, pressure. He's like, you know, his father kept telling you, you have to be a winner, you have to be at the top, you have to be like this... Uh, pretty much you have to be me, or my, you have to be the you I want you to be. I but that, hap- the best that happens with a lot of uh, parents with, with children. It's parents who peaked in high school. You know, they literally didn't go much further. They kind of like try to live vicariously through their children to kind of have that experience again yep, exactly that they're that. obviously not having ever again in their lives. And it's very sad that they put that kind of expectation on the kid's shoulders. And even for Brian, for example. Yeah, his it's grades. For his grades, you know. Just because he got an F, he was about to blast himself with a flare gun, which is... <laughs> I, was I don't really think... Would, would it kill... I don't know, but I, I know it would be horribly painful. Think, that's the thing. I don't know if it can kill. I'm not 100% certain. Someone in the comments would let me know if a flare gun shot to your own head. Like, <laughs> Does that kill, or does it just hurt like hell? I feel, I, I feel like it hurts like hell. I'm wondering, man, because I'm, I'm going to get... That's one hell of a thing. That's why when I thought about it, I was like, yeah, that's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> oh my God. It is, because a flare... I don't know. That, I but, mean, the thing is, they'll sure as hell find the body. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> It'd be very easy to find. But uh, again, you know, it's that pressure that I have to be at the top of my game, no matter what it is. Athletics, academics. Grades. There's only if something. I'm not, I'm useless. I'm nothing. I'm not worth anything. Or, you know, you know? yeah, I feel like a lot of it comes, again, it's, it's just from the, it's kind of different because it's just like, so there's the pressure from the parents and then there's also the pressure of the friends as well. Yeah, with, with uh, Claire talking about how she had to like fit into this like yeah, and, and, and narrative. Has, and Andy has the same issue too with his friends, right? Yeah. They have that same problem where they have pressure from their friends and pressure mm-hmm. from Here, family. Here's the thing that's very easy to understand. If you do not like the things that people that you you keep in your company do don't hang out with them anymore yeah it's literally that simple just don't yeah and some people are like oh you know but it's so tough and stuff. just stop talking to them it's as easy as that it's easy as that stop no. hanging out with and them and if you want you could just literally be honest with them too and just be like hey i don't really like the things that you guys do you know i don't like you yeah. guys talking shit behind people's backs or even bullying people i'm not a really yeah real just say you know this shit's lame like i, I don't yeah. i'm not really into this kind of stuff i don't want to I, I don't associate myself with this kind of like activities or these kind of things you go have fun, but I can't do it no more. And you just peace on out. You just skadoodle and you fuck off. You know, find some other cool people to hang out with. Actual cool people. There, there's many people with. out there, you know. Yeah, there, you know, there's tons of people out there who need a friend. All right? There's a lot of people out there who need a friend, you know. Yeah. So, you know, you could be a friend with someone else. There's someone else who needs it. More. There's also the weird girl where parents just kind of neglect you so much that they just... They don't give a the shit. The fact she it. just showed up, but you know, she says she's a compulsive liar as well. So who knows that, if that was true? That is true. You know? But you know, let's take it for for her word. And that's even that's just rough. Like you literally have nothing. You have no friends. Nothing's going for you. And your parents, like you could see in the beginning, it was perfectly like shown to you. They literally drove there. Oh, she got out. Off. She yeah. was gonna go say it by room. Like holy shit! Yeah, they're like thank God, see ya. <laughs> Woo. And that's the thing, you know. It shows a lot of times. It's just poor parenting, man. Or parenting, yeah, that's you know, it. It's sad. Uh, I think a, a lot of problems with children stem from the parents. Stem from the parents, yeah. Maybe not parents. all the time. Like, no. There are some special cases where, like, these kids, they, they they got a couple screws loose. There's there's something wrong. They're a little wacky. They're a little crazy. There are some of those, but, I mean, I feel there are a lot of times where the pressure of, you know, parents, the pressure of the people you hang out with, there's a lot of factors that kind of... Mm-hmm make people who they are you know i think that's what makes a lot of people not so i think there's a reason why a lot of people in high school struggle in a sense i think it's identity you know because you're trying to be the person it's hard to be who you want to be when your friends are against who you are and your parents are against who you want to be right yeah so it's just like it's this constant conflict of i want to be who i am but i can't because everyone else is trying is pushing me along this path of being this person their ideal person of who i should be so it's very tough you know i didn't have a lot of friends in high school so i didn't have to worry about that <laughs> yeah me either no nope. honestly and uh, you know it's amazing how like you you kind of like leave high school and you realize how much none of it really fucking matters not a single ounce of it matters no all right high school is just like enjoy it all right enjoy it while you still can because afterwards it gets rough that's it because everything that happens in high school does not fucking matter for no. the most part. Not really. No. I don't know, man. 
Good movie. Very good movie. I genuinely like it. I like how it explored all of their uh, personal struggles with themselves as people. Yeah, I kind of like how, you know, at the end, you know, you put a bunch of... Uh, but that's the thing, you know. You put a bunch of random people together who don't know each other. You have no idea who they are. And they just become friends. It's because they, they don't have the pressures of like, everyone else around them and stuff like yep. that. So they're able to freely be who they are to actually... And it's not even just that. They realize how similar they are in yeah. a lot of their own struggles. Yeah, a lot, you know? of, a lot of their struggles are very similar but different. And that's the thing you got to realize in the struggles that you have. You know, other people aren't sharing them. Yeah, you know, but... Maybe, maybe not in the same yeah, way. Maybe think twice before you're an asshole to somebody, you know. Maybe they're struggling, all right? And if someone's an asshole to you, ignore them. You know, don't play their game, no. essentially. Don't let them win. Yeah. Honestly, if you give them what they want, you give them the reaction you want, they have won. You get nothing out of it, no matter what you do. No. Nope. On that that's note, about it, man. yeah, I was just gonna say this has been going a lot. It's like forward. eleven minutes. I think it's long it's about enough. <laughs> minutes. It's a very good movie. Uh, the thing is, this movie has a lot to, to talk about. I think there is even more things to talk about, but we just can't delve into that. No. This would be too long for you guys, so we're gonna leave it at, uh, at that. Bring a peace on out, like uh, Brian could have if he used a flare gun. <laughs> <laughs> if he used something other than a flare gun, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Good> <laughs> <enough>. No. <laughs> Bye. Bye.